Hey there riders, Moto Journo Chris here and I wanted to have a quick chat about the newly announced Triumph Trident concept bike which will bring the Triumph triple cylinder to a neo retro style offering with the brand promising this will be a new entry point into the triple lineup and competitively priced. That could be great news for would-be Triumph aficionados as their motorcycles tend to be on the premium end of things which creates a barrier of entry for newer riders. Of course for those of us in Australia and other regions of the world where restricted motorcycles are your starting point, this will be an A2 or LAMS compliant motorcycle or come in such form, which for those of you who aren't familiar, is basically a 35 kilowatt restricted power version. Now Triumph still offer the Street Triple S in a 660cc version, but right away pricing currently sits just under the 15,000 Australian dollar mark, which is more expensive than the Yamaha MT-09 and Kawasaki Z900. Of course it makes sense to offer additional models with a 660cc triple as those beginner rider restrictions are unlikely to disappear while bringing the Trident in for around the 12k mark, in Australia at least, would no doubt attract a wider audience, competing against the likes of the MT-07 and Z650 including on price, but also offering a performance orientated retro style or neo retro style machine. Of course that could be wishful thinking on my part. The Street Triple S also offers the most basic electronic system of the lineup, so it would make sense for that to be transferred across to the new Trident. With some similarities obvious between these models, Nissan brakes on the front appear to be the same item seen on the S, while the same forks also appear to be fitted. The 5 spoke wheels also look to be the same, or at least similar items, keeping in mind this is a concept machine, so it's possible details may change, just as a disclaimer. The engine is obviously the same, although it remains to be seen whether that's a 765cc or 660cc restricted version, while the front master cylinder and switch block setup will likely be the same. Keeping price down is obviously a primary concern and there's not much family resemblance to the old Trident models if you ask me, which have far more in common with the Thruxton as far as the overall look of the original bike or just the Bonneville models. Of course the Thruxton is a seriously trick piece of kit with a price tag to match, while Triumph have a wide range of Bonneville, Scrambler, Twin and Thruxton models already, with this bike looking like a new direction. A single round headlight is simple and retro styled, but looks to be an LED unit. The tank more closely resembles what we see on the Bonneville models, while some aluminium belly pan cowls are clean up around the exhaust headers. The frame is a departure from what we've seen on the street triples, with a more simple tubed item alongside a more basic asymmetric swing arm matched to a single rear shock unit. The exhaust features a big underbelly collector with a low exhaust outlet, similar to seen on the street triples but not as fancy and missing the extended muffler section. The tail unit and seat are also streamlined with what looks like a single piece seat with room for a pillion, while the overall design has a street triple feel to it, just a little less sporty and a bit more simple and retro. The under tank and seat panel is also nicely contoured for a clean overall look while basic radiator shrouds and mudguards appear to be pretty no-nonsense items. The single round dash setup is also a more neo-retro item, and looking at that area it would appear there'll be no adjustability on those forks. Mirrors are also missing in the pictures provided, although it looks like traditional items will be fitted, rather than bar end, although this could be a detail they haven't decided upon at this point, with indicators likewise missing. Triumph tell us this idea has been in the making for four years, with input from Rodolfo Frascoli on the design side of things, bringing some Italian flair. While I'm left thinking this could be competition for the likes of the BMW R9T, but in a much more affordable entry level base segment. That makes a lot of sense to me as well, personally I love the street triples, but I know many riders don't like the headlights. While the new Trident concept machine offers a more timeless style that should appeal to a wider variety of riders, which for any machine that may be aimed at getting people into motorcycling is obviously a huge benefit. Anyway, information is very light on the ground at this point, so we'll have to wait and see exactly what's on offer, what the final specifications will be, and possibly most importantly what the pricing of this new offering will be. 
I'm pretty excited to find out personally with the Trident apparently due in spring 2021 here in Australia, so it is still a full year away. So let me know your thoughts on this new model from Triumph. Do you think they are on the money with this one or is there something you would rather have seen? Apart of course from the standard Daytona 765 because obviously we all want to see that in their model line. Let me know in the comments below and if you enjoy the video don't forget to sub and hit that notification bell. As always stay safe out there and thanks for watching.